Hello everyone, this is Sayyid Sagheer Ahmad. In this video, we will see a funny mnemonics to remember the classification of anticholinergic or parasympatholytic drugs. This mnemonic is very helpful to remember all the drugs very easily. So, let's get started. Anticholinergic drugs or parasympatholytics. It is divided into natural alkaloids, semi-synthetic derivatives and synthetic compounds. Here, take an example of food. Natural food, semi-synthetic food and synthetic food. First one, natural. Always healthy. Remember, natural. Remember the mnemonics. Always healthy. A for Atropin, H stand for hyosin. Semi-synthetic, healthy and helpful if tested. Remember this mnemonic. Healthy and helpful if tested. This is for semi-synthetic derivative. H stand for homotropin, A for atropin, methonitrate, H stand for hyoscine butyl bromide, I for ipratropium bromide and T for teotropium bromide. Finally, synthetic one or synthetic compound may always have various adverse effects. M for mydriatics example cyclopentolate mydriatics are the agents which dilate eye pupil you know eye pupil shape of pupil is cyclic so because of that the drug would be cyclopentolate a for anti secretory anti spasmodic anti anti two anti if you go to your relative auntie house, they will prepare chicken and omelet for you. So remember, in anti-secretory and anti-spasmodic, prepare chicken and omelet. P for propantholin, C stand for clidinium and O for oxyphenonium. Then V stand for Vasico selective, Vasico, CO, CO selective, CO, Vasico, CO, CO means carbon dioxide. If you see CO carbon dioxide, you will always remember oxygen. Vasico carbon dioxide, CO, oxygen. Example is oxybutynin. And finally, A for anti parkinsonian if you see the patient having parkinson disease he is unable to move properly unable to walk he always need a car which car benz remember parkinson need patient need a car which car benz car so you can write benz hexol If you like this video, then please subscribe and share. Thank you.